Hey YouTube, welcome back. We got another great edition. Working on the QMX, also working on a few other projects. We'll probably give you a little tour around the shop since a lot of you are new. We have just passed 100 subscribers, so thank you to everybody out there. Much appreciated. Hopefully we can get more content, more cool stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen me roll this thing last week, better go back and check those videos out. Alright YouTube, this is where we're at so far. We still don't have any front brakes, we didn't put any calipers on there, but we did adjust the steering pitman angles uh, so that we no longer have bump steer. And if you're not familiar with bump steer, uh, that's when your suspension hits a bump and your steering either toes in or toes out uh, is bump steer. So uh, we were able to fix that by adding about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half riser to our uh, tie rods, which allowed it to get rid of the bump steer. So that was fast. The other thing we did was add a chain tensioner, um, which allowed us to tighten up the chain and keep constant tension on that. Now, the biggest thing we've had is my seating position. So right now I'm sitting a little high, um, but that being said, we have 10 pounds of stuff sitting underneath the seat and only so much room. Right now we have batteries, we have the controller, uh, we have part of the suspension. And in order to bring this whole thing down uh, about two inches, uh, we barely have about three finger space between the battery and the bottom of the frame. So that is going to be a problem. So let's continue. All right, YouTube, here we are in the shop. This is what we call the welding room. This is basically where we do most of the fabrication and buildups. We do have a small workbench, air compressor. We got the plasma table. We got the plasma cutter. We got the welder. We got the welder. We got some jigs. And that's about it for the welding room. If that made you sick, stay tuned. As we leave the fabrication room, now we go into the main work area. Out here we got a few of the bikes, we got the workbench, we got a few other projects that we're working on. We got our tool board back there. And as we move forward, right now we got some lawn care equipment here to take care of the property. We got a bike all crated up here, ready to go out. Don't worry, it's getting shipped. Um, we do have some t-shirts in. I don't know if you checked out our t-shirts lately, but we hope to get some of those online. We do have some stickers that we're working on. Uh, if you want some of those, let us know. Drop us a comment below and we'll get those stickers posted soon so you can get them in your hands. Let's continue. All right, YouTube. So you saw a little bit of the shop. This door right here, this is gonna lead us out eventually into the bike track where we'll be able to set up our own trails, have our own biking, do some testing, break some stuff, hopefully drift some cars, all that fun stuff. Uh, here's some of our new t-shirts. If you haven't caught them up yet, let's hopefully post it up the right way. Look at that. Kabul bikes, t-shirts, wearing one here. We got them in green. Got them in green. Got them in the blue. And then eventually, hopefully you guys will be able to get some of these hoodies. A little logo on there. On the hood. I'll check it on the hood. Oh. Alright, enough about the t-shirts. You'll be able to get some of those soon. Hopefully they'll be online. New graphics will be coming out soon. Till then, let's keep this party rolling. Let's take a quick look at some of those modifications. So here's the modification to the steering tie rod that we had to level out so that it, we got rid of the bump steer. Here's the chain tensioner that we welded in to help with the chain tension. Right now you can see the chain is off of it, but it was helping until the chain Tensioner got the spring See that right there the spring Is busted so no longer putting enough tension on our chain uh, So from the most recent videos if you saw that You saw that we were losing the chain. That's the problem right there. So we need to go ahead and update that 
shocks. Oh, good stuff. Let's continue. All right, now you two. It's back to the seat and what we got to do here. Now, in order to move this whole thing down, we're going to have to move all these batteries, all these controllers, all this stuff down, which is not an easy task. We've already fed a lot in there. As we move that seat down, that suspension is also going to want to come up, which, of course, is going to limit our capabilities there. We can reposition the shocks. We can do some pivot arms or some something to make the shocks go forward and have the suspension still suspend. But with the current sprocket that we have on there, which is about a 98 tooth sprocket, and with the big wheels, we've had some comments. Yes, we could probably put some smaller wheels on there, put some go-kart or ATV wheels on there, shrink that wheel size diameter, that would help. We were trying to keep this on the basis of a bicycle or mountain bike, something like that. This is my own personal bike, so uh, it doesn't have to meet any requirements except for my own. For me, it is a little high being in the chair, being able to transfer onto there. I would like to be able to do that by myself without anybody around. Although I don't recommend you riding alone. Okay, let's continue. All right, as we continue, I don't know if we've ever displayed this properly, but this is the removal process. You push the little button here and your battery releases. Now these are Bosch drill batteries. Test the battery that's fully charged. Uh, these are 18 volt. This particular one is an eight amp hour battery. I do have some older Bosch batteries that I mixed in here. And these are an 18 volt, six amp, six amp hour battery. So all those ran together, we're at 72 volts. Now, you can see here, I did add a little chain guard in here, just in case the chain ever rips off, it doesn't tear up my leg because that would not be good. I did run the RockShox um, front air suspension, and then we have the Fox rear suspension, this is the clearance we were talking about. If I start lowering this whole seat, you can see right there, I got about a little less than four fingers before I hit the batteries. And if we need to drop it down two fingers, so about an inch, right? So we're at a little over four inches there. We drop it down a couple inches. We don't have much room. We also don't have much room here in the structure uh, because we do have the controller up underneath there. Um, and we would have to drop all this room. We still have to leave room for the chain to bypass and room to support the seat. Dropping that inch, if anybody knows that never race, any done any kind of racing before, an inch, if you can lower your center of gravity an inch, that's huge. In rally car, sometimes they have to cut the seat brackets off just to lower that passenger or the driver, just that half inch to an inch to lower that center of gravity and get bigger, better traction. This is no different. If I can lower this whole center of gravity, it's gonna be golden. Now, ideally, I also wanna move this seat backwards a little bit so that I can get my rear, the majority of my weight centered over the rear axle. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow my front end to be a little bit lighter. And that way for popping wheelies and going up curbs, you don't have so much weight on that front end. Also, getting this thing airborne, I need to distribute that weight a little bit better and normally you want to be a little bit stretched out when you're jumping uh, to absorb the impact as well as be able to handle the bike, tipping it forward and backwards. Now currently we only have rear brakes. We are going to get those front brakes on there installed. You'll have to stay tuned for that. That's going to be, have to be another episode for a different day. Today we want to do a little breakdown, show you what we are working with, show you the batteries, show you how we're gonna drop the seat down a little bit. Uh, the controller seems to be working fine. The motor seems to be working fine. We've got enough batteries on there. It's got enough ump. Now we just gotta get this thing dialed in. All right, let's stay tuned. As we're here, we might as well give you a little quick update on the Cadillac DeVille model here, the stretched model. It does have front brakes, 100, 100, those are 180 millimeter rotor brakes, Tektro hydraulic. It does have 160 mil, uh, wait, no, check it. That is a 180 mil rear, rear 
rotor as well as hydraulic disc brakes. Uh, we don't have that hooked up yet. Uh, we did put this fine Danny awesome seat on here with some nice bolts. Those feel good. Uh, we did set. Hopefully I didn't drop you there, YouTube. As we were talking, we got batteries, controller, 3000 watt motor. Things pretty solid. We still need to put some pegs on there, have them more adjustable, and put the rear brake on there. Once again, this is all just for fun, just to make things fun, build, do all that we can do. Now maybe we can take you outside, show you what we got next. All right, YouTube, here we are. This will eventually be the extension out. Hopefully have a nice roller drop down there. We got about a 20 foot drop right there into that trees, maybe closer to 30 foot. Just think about this, roll right out, drop into the track. That would be ideal. It is another beautiful day in the Ozarks. A little cold, it's probably about uh, 65 today. Actually not too bad. A little t-shirt weather. Hopefully you got some of those t-shirts. If not, get them on order. Drop some comments below, you get some of those. Also stay tuned for the stickers. Now, if you could see this, it drops down quite a bit down there. Those trees are pretty tall. So that just that roll in, we'll be have plenty of speed for a jump section, a little trail bike section, something like that. And then eventually we're gonna get these bad boys up and running. If you don't know what these are, don't know what these are, you'll have to stay tuned and find out what that is. We got it all tied down. Can't get in there right now, but that's top secret stuff. Keep watching. All right, YouTube, you came, you saw, we talked about some of the upgrades we're gonna do. We walked around the shop, showed you some of the outside of the shop. We talked about getting some t-shirts, talked about getting some stickers. We talked about some of our projects. We got more installed real soon. Don't worry, we'll save this little t-shirt right here for you. Bull bikes. Living the dream. Another beautiful day in the Ozarks. Don't forget to subscribe, share, stay tuned. And you know what I say. Peace.